Hello and welcome to the first episode of Homebrews. Our, I don't know if it's going to be weekly or semi-weekly uh, podcast. I guess it's going to be the filler content in between our discussions and table talks. But uh, this is our take on tabletop gaming and D and D and our little spin on it. Uh, it's kind of an idea I had, and we're putting it to fruition now. So, my name is Stephen, and I have three others joining me. We have Alex. Hello. We have Josh. Hello. That was a beautiful intro, Steve, by the way. I just want to say. Thank you. And then we have Seamus, of course. What's up? Um, Alex is new to our podcast. Uh, last week we talked about solo leveling, but today we decided to bring on somebody who is a advocate for tabletop gaming and D&D in general. He is some DM background, but a lot more player background. You want, to, you want to list some of your experience? My experience? Alex, you professional you. Oh, my professional me. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have, I've DM'd less than I've played, but only because I like being a player. Mm-hmm. I think I'm a really good player, I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm, I'm a pretty bomb player. But, I've DM'd a little bit, and if anything, I have, I have a good DM mindset. Mm-hmm. Like, when it comes to people's campaigns, if we're just messing around doing things, I'm like, we should probably try to get back on track. Um, with how you would say you play, or DM, are you more in lines of... Playing to role play, playing for combat, rule of cool, stuff like that. Like, kind of a discussion about oh. that. Oh. <laughs> well, when I... Okay, I feel like what every player does when they first play... Well, actually, no. There's, like, two players. There's two players that start out... Like, getting new into the game? Yeah. Okay. There's, like, the players that role play... So They want to role play real hard. Mm-hmm. And they want to, like, just have this character and this alter ego, this whole situation. And maybe that doesn't happen. Who knows? But there's also, like... At that point, though, you start min-maxing. You start being, like, oh... Like, I want to have an, a 20 charisma by level 6. Yeah. And you're a sorcerer, and then you're taking double casts, and you're taking whatever. I don't, I don't even know if it's called double casts. Like, I don't play sorcerers because they're terrible. But... <laughs> <laughs> just Hot take. Hot take. Hot take. <laughs> no, I'm just messing. Warlock's the best uh, mage class, though. But, uh... <laughs> Caster, yeah. I love it. Um, but, uh... I don't know what the question was. I was gonna say, like, when you play, are you like a role player, oh, right. or are you like role play, role play? I'm more, I'm more so role play. I don't like to min max because it's not fun. Because then when things don't go your way, you just get frustrated. I'm not saying I would, but like, let's. Yeah, like, we've we've had it. players. Yeah. I mean, there's people that's in some my, of the games we played. That's where my biggest like, problem is anytime I make a character, like, I just, want to be I just stress that I'm not gonna be good because I have the idea of role playing and what I want the whole party to be. But like, anytime someone has like, oh, I got a fucking six. On this stat, well, and, that's and like that's the best part. It can be fun, the best but part like of the negative stat. They, I always try to make sure, I don't I'm like, know. dude, I have to have like a negative. Two. I like it's to have so a negative too, but like I don't know. Maybe it's just the people I've played with where they are like that's their character defining moment is that they're just really fucking stupid or something, uh-huh. and then they'll just like completely kind of derail the game because they want to be funny. Yeah. And well, there's so, a time for humor. It's, it's, yeah. It's so social... I always think like I always think like I gotta be fucking making some perfect. Bullshit. Did you just cuss in the first minute? Yeah. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's we're three, three minutes before five seconds in, thank you. <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> well, let's segue into that. Uh, okay, Seamus, okay. what is your background with D&D or tabletop in general? Um, basically, I have not had any longevity in tabletop. I've started in, like, five different campaigns that haven't gone past That's the third... Like, the third session. Even though, like, the first one I ever played was really bad. And literally no, none of us, there was seven of us, one DM, six oh, players, and none wow. of us had ever played before. Oh, that's oh, what okay. I mean. So, yeah. Was the, DM, was the, the DM play? No. Who was that person? He if was... You, no, I'm just um, messing with you. I was going to make he's like, yeah. oh, yeah, hear that, Kyle? Yeah. <laughs> Call him out. No. He's actually... I'm going to his wedding tomorrow, actually. It's pretty cool. Oh, that's, that's nice. nice. He was a very good DM, and he was trying very hard, and we were all trying... Not so hard. I was getting married for it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, so that was, it was rough. None of us really understood the, me- like, so too many of us were playing too hard on mechanics and other people were playing too hard on the roles. So then it was like. I, took, I bullet pointed my notes about that too. Yeah. Because. I want to bring up. Uh, this is going to sound crappy, but like one of the players had nobility. So they're like, oh, common folk rally around me. So yeah. you're all common folk and I'm the noble. So I'm oh in charge goodness. of you all and we should do this. And I was like, I am a wizard who is literally just trying to research graves because that's my character motivation. <laughs> I will not go into that goblin cave with you if you just want to go do this because you're <laughs> fancy. 
Yeah. And we started a fight, and then we quit. <laughs> yeah, well, that's but, the, yeah. It's yeah. like if someone wants to be the protagonist, that gets annoying. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, I recently, in our campaign, Stephen, <laughs> it's weird I can't say our campaign, no one knows what we're talking about. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the campaign that Stephen and I are in right now, I've had moments where I was definitely like, the defining character, mm-hmm. or like I, I was. I need to look over here too. I'm sorry. Oh, you're fine. Um, that <laughs> just exclude me from the whole podcast. podcast. That's all right. No, you can't. <laughs> He's got his own <laughs> mic. Own you mic. have to face our mic. Yeah. True. Uh, but there's been a lot of times where I was a pretty important character, and I mean, yes, my character put himself in those situations, but that's just how he acts. He wants to show off. And he doesn't talk. It's the best. Um, <laughs> it's really awesome. I love him. One of my favorite characters I've ever made. But it's. It's. So, I even like said like, oh, please do something with everyone else. Like it was annoying that it was just mm-hmm. like, oh, I'm doing like this one, this two v two brawl with like Steven here, and it's just like everyone else is just sitting around doing nothing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'm like, maybe he's gonna give him. A, 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 maybe the other guys are gonna start cheating. Like there, there's like a crowd of people around us, right? Maybe they're gonna start cheating, and then our friends can start cheating too because they're cheating, and then it, you know that becomes like a mm-hmm. stealth contest. And no, and that never happened. And I'm like, well, yeah. now I just feel like a prick. It's yeah, just like not involving everybody, everybody in the party. Yeah, and I don't like to do that. I don't yeah. like to do that as a DM. I don't like to do that as a player. And see, but everyone has a little time to yeah. shine. Yeah, in my exactly. opinion, that's that's the thing is it has to rotate. Like, yeah, if you have your t- your duel for like half a session and, or something, and, and then the next next week maybe you don't do very much. Yeah, yeah. you take the side. I'll, I'll try. Exactly. I mean, that's like a lot of times. Like, I'm gonna go take a nap. I'm gonna go eat food. This is what I'm doing because I don't want to. Like, I, I want to give up. Now that's that's on me doing it. Right, it's, well, it's some not, people it's not are like that too. too. Like some, some people just want, want to be the yeah, they yeah. want to be. No, yeah. yeah, yeah, and that's fine. I mean, if that's what they want to be, but you know, everyone in the back of their head wants their cool moment. You're playing yeah. a role playing. You want to have exactly. You want your character to take the limelight. Yeah, you know? like you want those big hits. You want those numbers. I get yeah. it. And yeah. so. um, talking about our campaign, I feel like ever since I joined. I've kind of been the same. It's been terrible. Yeah. It's been, it's it's been horrible, games. yeah. I've been just taking the spotlight. I feel like it's... You keep, because you keep giving me the spotlight, too. <laughs> like, you're here in the spotlight, you're like, oh, but look at this bird. And then I'm like, I don't speak. And, well, then... that, and that's the thing. Um, with so you're my you're voice. Kenku? Yeah, I'm a Kenku. He's a Kenku, yeah. yeah. He's my little There's bird. There's also boy. the Eric Crocker, but no, I'm a Kenku, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, like, well, I figured when you said you didn't speak. Well, they mimic, mimic, but I only mimic one person. Yeah. And I only do it in very rare occasions. And he, he himself doesn't speak, no. He doesn't yeah. like to. It's yeah. not that he can't. But, and, yeah, I know that they usually are very limited in general, too. Yeah, so. yeah. And, like, with that whole, context clues. I guess, like, story arc we're going through right now, Lord. it just feels centered on me. And I'm like, please, like... Tom likes to ma- ruin your character. That's true, yeah. He <laughs> your makes your me... character is, I am a dad. And then he goes, okay, what does a dad have? Family, take that away. Exactly. Well, you are no longer a dad. Yeah, I mean, that's, like, that's, that's the oldest trick in the book. Yeah. But like, it's just like, I want, I want to explore other characters. I want to see how they interact. And recently with uh, our friend Cameron's character, I feel like she's been kind of going into the spotlight. We've been learning more about her. But I mean, like, there's still four, three other people who... Kind of sit on the sidelines, and I want to see them more. And I've talked to them. I'm like, talk more. I'm not, and like, because it's a two way street. You can't blame the DM for not giving them. The no, I'm not blaming anybody. You can't anybody. blame the player that doesn't go out of their way to do it. It's two ways. They both have to make strides at doing yeah. it. Yeah, and that's another thing that I've ran into playing is that like nervous, nervous players. People, almost. people, a lot of people get nervous about being a character. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, I'm trying to role and play it's hard when you have a group where you guys are probably more into the role yeah. play and you're comfortable with it and you enjoy it. Yeah. To where it's someone coming in, or even just hasn't played that way, they'll they'll probably you can probably tell because they'll be like, oh, so and so. They'll say their character's name does this, and then you're like, you either have to have a DM who steps in and goes, no, that's you. Yeah. Or you have the DM who accepts it, and then you know that that game's going to be a different place. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to yeah. have a different exactly. feel to it. Yeah. There's uh, one of my favorite examples <clears throat> that I like to tell new players who, maybe I'm helping them make their character, trying to make you feel comfortable. I'm like, hey, sit next to me when we play. So like, I'm like, you know, like so I, I give them ideas to do. I'm like, I'm not telling you what you can do. But like, here's the really good spells. Um, also, different play a spellcaster if you knew. That's just my opinion. <clears throat> maybe sorcerer, but no. no. Wizards are too much. Anyways, that's the side point. Yeah, um, wizard. I played the first first time I ever played was a wizard, and it was a little. Unless rough. you go out of your way to read everything, to go through and do it. And like right. our friend Hannah did that when we started playing. We we pretty much got her to be our healer because we didn't have a healer. Yeah. And then once we played for like maybe a couple months, like five seven months, which we we 
We played for a long time. It's pretty great. Yeah. She, like, printed out everything. She wrote everything down. She got super into it, and she knew what she wanted to do. I mean, she was stealing keel, keels. She was stealing kills left and right. She was healing all this. She's like, anybody need heals? She's like, I, like, she was on top of it. Yeah. And I was like, damn, that's like, I'm really proud of you right now. Like, we only, we were using you. <laughs> and now we need you. Yeah, she uh, became a defining character. It was yeah, awesome. Yeah. But um, one of the things that is tough that I try to tell the new players, especially, like, oh, like, Kovark does this. It's like, you are Kovark. It's like, um, what can I do? And they're like, well, you can do anything. Yeah. It's literally real life, but in everyone's head, yes. and you're like all focusing on it together. It's a weird like meditation. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Uh, you <laughs> hold hands, you light candles, and you summon demons. Uh, but That's what I want. <laughs> we need to make that game. <laughs> <laughs> That's D&D. Yeah. That's the end game. Yeah. That's That's the end end game. game. That's I've the never gotten game. there. <laughs> no. uh, I was going to say, not to leave Josh out, but with Josh, what is your oh, yeah. experience you with it? Oh, well, that's okay. I'm just not even here. Really? Uh, well, then if he's not here, um, my other experience is <laughs> listening to podcasts of other people playing. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's a yeah, that's a big one. Yeah. But uh, so I, most, most of my campaigns have been with you, Steve. Steve. Mm-hmm. So, so we did Dark Heresy, which is a beautiful game. That was the most fun I think I've ever had really playing Dark Heresy. I loved that I did nothing campaign. that whole like time we played. I did a lot, I think. Yeah. Bro, like, my, I, was I was killing people left and right. Yeah, I was a sniper. Like, I just remember, like, standouts were, like, Noah, Josh, and yeah. I think Donnie's character. Yeah, yeah that, that was just, it was, it was really, really fun. It was very short-lived. Though. It was yeah. short-lived, yeah. yeah. Which is, the problem was with scheduling and some of the characters we had. Yeah. 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 The amount of players. Yeah. yeah. One of the characters in particular. Uh, uh, but, so there was that. that. All my campaigns have basically been really short-lived. Because we did have a D&D campaign where I played the Bard. Correct. Bard's Bartle... Bard? Bartlesby. The Valhalla Bar- campaign. Yes, yeah, the Valhalla campaign. campaign. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know, I had a whole lot of conspira- like experience, like experience compared to you guys, guys, I don't think. Yeah, but I would, I would love, love to have more experience, it's just I can't really, really find any good campaigns to be a part of. And with scheduling nowadays, it's yeah, hard. Yeah, it's just hard. We don't have jobs and shit, and it just kind of sucks. And you, I did DM a one-shot once, which was nice. That's, that's nice. nice. Well, one-shots are very, that's key. That's the best way to that's, get that's the experience. That's one of the best ways to do it. Well, see, I don't have the, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't like, like devotion. You don't, oh, oh yeah. yeah, you don't You're have not, uh, commit. Commit. Yeah, the commitment. Commitment is attachments. Yeah. It's like we can do it for a weekend. If we don't finish, we can go next weekend or whenever we can. Yeah. And you don't feel bad about it. And you can make some crazy characters. Try to do a righteous thing and try to kill your character off because you have no regrets. Yeah. Exactly. Mine's wild. Well, I was gonna say so like online. I tried the online campaigns and that just I don't know. I couldn't get the same feel and I couldn't get into it as much. Oh, was it with random people? Huh? Yeah, it was with random people. Oh, yeah. That might be. I didn't know that that was a thing. No, I get that. No, yeah. You can you can you mess with doors and shit. Roll uh, 20 has a Tinder. whole form thing. Yeah, yeah. but Tinder. it's... <laughs> we need to make Tinder for D&D. <laughs> Jesus, that's, that's a good idea. idea. It's a terrible idea. Roll that's how you no find someone who's a little serial killer. That's fine. That'd be a good character. Good role player. Yeah. yeah. They'll kill, kill it, it, literally. But uh, That's copyrighted, by the way. That's our... That's um, copyrighted. If you take that, we will send our lawyers. We do not... We, we have a team now. now. This is our third, third episode, episode, all right? Second. Second. Shit. Shit. Fuck. We're famous. But uh, I just feel like you can't get into it as much when you're not sitting around with a group. You can't get that, like, community. Yeah. I've played on... i played Roll20, and I think it was just as... It was practically the same. Because it was with a campaign that we had played in person for, like, four sessions. And then, you know, my buddies went to college, so we couldn't... Well, see, yeah, that's different, though. So then we'd play on Roll20. Yeah. And I was going to say, with the online format, I think it's very reliant on the DM to prep more. Yeah, yeah I would definitely say so. If there is a DM oh, yes. who's not into it, it will never work. And that goes in a very long way with Players just, too? Yeah. It's always Which a two-way street. No, it is a two-way street. Always is. Well, what I'm saying with that is, like, but. the DM needs to prepare stuff because with the online format, there's expectations of we're going to have battle maps, we're going to have visuals. If the DM doesn't provide that, then that connection that you normally have with at the table... It's gone. You yeah. can argue that about a table setting. I mean, that's the true. amount yeah. of times that we actually have a map when we play. Very little. Well, exactly. you, but, I also feel that you either have to be already set, like that just has to click with you as a player point, right yeah. when you start that you it, can do theater of the mind, or you have to have played enough to be able to just feel it. Because in my opinion, yeah. I think the map helps newer players. It's that's yes. true. Well, it, yeah. it lets them visualize it. Yeah, it gets you more of a I mean, picture. I don't know. I, growing up, I played a lot of pretend 
So I, yeah. I don't yeah. Yeah. I'm just trying to brag about it. Yeah, yeah, right. It's just no, but uh, yeah. my brain's so big. My brain, my brain plays. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, you know, it, it's the high IQ jokes you guys don't understand. But um, <laughs> it's crazy. Um, I actually had two imaginary friends. I don't know if you you were the only two. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, keep on going. Yeah, yeah, I was like, I can make a joke here, but there's no point. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, because it's more sidetracked. But no, I mean, when it comes on, okay, so it's like, in person, obviously, is different than being online. I've had, I was really into it one time when we played online a long time ago. That was probably one of our best was, campaigns. Which one are you talking about? That was when what, I was, when I made Doom Wizard? I think Doom that Wizard. original Doom. norm. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking a long time ago. Like, y- you were eighth grader or freshman, and I was a sophomore or a freshman. Oh. And I made Doom Wizard. We, we played online a couple times. Yeah. We never really got too far. I remember those, like, that you were the... The last thing we ever played was, you said, we heard a quack from the bushes. And that <laughs> was it. Yeah. Start of all that stuff. <laughs> but anyways... Um, Kill spot. That was... I was so into it. So for me, I, I had the book with me. I had tabs pulled up, and it was I was able to focus and, like, get into it. But there's times where, like, you don't, since there's not people around you, and you're, you literally have a computer in front of you, it's a, it's a distraction in a nutshell. Um, it, it, and you're just, you have this thing in front of you that you can just look things up. Like, you can watch, you can go on Twitter and mess around. Should I, yeah. I'm like, you're good, you're everyone's Keep going, you're good, you're good, good. Um, but, like, you can just mess around, you get so distracted on the computer. Um, you could private message people, yeah. which is definitely something that I totally did all the time. Yeah. Like I'd just be like, oh, "You should do this." <laughs> oh yeah. But you can't do it really on the table. You kind of can with people sitting next to you or like text people, but still no. Speaking of distractions, I remember in online I was with you for like three or four parts of it, and me and you were just playing chess the entire time. Oh, yeah, <laughs> well, that's, what that's what I'm saying. I would play Balloons Tower Defense. Yeah, you know, yeah. What, during like a Tommy's campaign online, and that's what I was gonna move to was like, so that experience was like okay, because like it's hard to be engulfed into it and stay there when you're not around people. But if you're around people and you're at a table, and I get on my phone, someone be like, put your phone away. They may yeah. like, put, put your phone away. You know, they'll, they'll be like, you get off your phone, or like, oh, like I'm on my phone. I just did stuff. Like I'm allowed to take this break. But if you're online, you're always on break. Yeah, you can yeah. do but you whatever you want. We always have to be focused because you can't see the people. Mm-hmm. So if I'm like, if I'm just saying like, oh, hold on, I'm on my phone. Like the DM's not gonna know that unless there's like webcams, and even then they just might get more upset. Yeah. yeah. Or something. It's it seems more rude in that sense. But when like recently, more recently than that, we had a campaign online which was amazing, because it was you, me, and two other people. Did we have a third person for like a day? No, it was just us. Okay. And we, um, what third was what I meant. Anyways, uh, we, I think that was one of the best online experiences I've ever had. There was maps, and I think we're really good players, so we were able to go off of each other really well. I was going to say that. So that's different. Party dynamic was just so good. I like, love my character. I mean, it, it does have to do a lot with the people that you were with, too. Yeah, yeah. I was going to yeah, say. that's a big thing. But see, we're so experienced at this point. That's, yeah, that's what that I'm saying. It's easier for us to stay involved. And yes, I did have Blue Tower Defense pulled up. But you were also still involved was, at every moment. Yeah, yeah to go on it though, like so you guys are very experienced. But take your position and put four players who have never played before. They're gonna probably stop playing after the second campaign. Like, if they're, they're not done. involved yeah. in it and within like yeah, I think yeah. third there's session. Very, yeah, and there's very um, there's a mindset you have to have because I think. We were talking about it earlier that a lot of people have that I'm the protagonist mindset. Yes. Mm-hmm. And you can't have that to be in a game as brand new players, mm-hmm. which is a problem because mostly brand new players have that feeling. Or they have the I'm the background character the whole time mindset. Yeah. yeah. And, and they don't want to get involved. Everyone, and everyone's not getting involved. Yeah. But like the number of players is way more impactful online too. Like four players is solid. It can be a little touchy because if someone falls down, like if someone falls down, that's 25% of your party just left. Yeah. Like if someone's down or someone's low in health, you don't have a healer, you're screwed. Five players is fine. Six online though. Think about six people and a DM all trying, trying to, talk. to talk. Yeah, it's online, hard. Online, that's that's even in person. Much. It was hard. It's way easier in person though. I mean, it it's sure be easier because you know you can all look at each other. But exactly. It was, but it was still because then you have the you know unless you're all stand up <laughs> citizens, you have the people on their phone. And there's six of you, so the DM's looking at making eye contact with one person because they're doing something. Or like and two then this are other. doing something. Yeah. 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 Cause that's what we were. That's what I've ran into, but it was a. There's a lot. There's a lot to it. But online, I mean, it's so easier. It's it's you're more accessible for online too. 
scheduling can well, be easier. There are definite pros, especially yeah. now that we're all older. But we all have jobs and it's school so, and everything you know, else. They're, but they're so different. They are different, yes. That's why, like, they're similar, because you're, you're doing a similar thing, but it's not the same. It's like, I don't know, like, uh... Going to a theater and watching the movie from home? Yeah, and watching the movie with people online. Yeah. That, yes, that's actually the... That's a fantastic example. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Kudos to you. Yeah, it's it's all I try. it's all crazy. We're playing a board game in real person uh, compared to online. But one thing, see, you guys say you don't have a lot of D uh, D and D experience. Yeah. And I beg to differ that you have a way more than you think you do. Because you not that? only have you guys played MMORPGs online, yes. you've played yeah. role playing games. Like I'm not gonna say Skyrim's the best. No, example, but yeah, but exactly. again, I know yeah. you guys have both played. I oh, yeah. assume if yeah. you haven't. If you haven't, who the fuck are you? Get yeah. out of here. <laughs> I was gonna You're say, off the podcast. <laughs> you guys just recent re recently re-subbed to WoW, and you guys were playing that. Oh, yeah. yeah. I played WoW for like and 10 years, yeah. probably. WoW is that's... all about min-maxing, though. Yeah, that's So that's like true. a different mindset. Yeah. Skyrim, you can min-max, but also you can role-play. You can it, do whatever you want, yeah. all about how you take that mm -hmm. game on. Same goes for WoW. There's that guy that was a, a, a an unaligned monk. He uh, still is. Pandarian. Yeah, and he... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, That's like, he, he, role, a... he role-played hard. I mean, there's specific role-play servers, too, is the thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Precisely. And, like... Goldshire, baby. Exactly. And you yeah. can do that. You have the same opportunities you do in D&D. &D. You can role-play hard, or you can min-max hard if you want. It, will players like that in both ends? Maybe. I mean, you can make, you may role-play so hard... <laughs> so hard. You may focus <laughs> on... <all> <laughs> <laughs> You may focus oh, on role playing play so the much. shit out of that. Yeah, right. You may role play so much, or focus on it too much, to where you're not doing anything in combat. You don't have anything that you're actually applying to the team. You're just messing off, or yeah. you're screwing up the situations, which is fun. And maybe I'm, I'm maybe I'm, I'm being more negative about the situation now. But I'm saying yeah. like, it's like, what do you do other than just talking sometimes? And it's, I mean, you can have a face character. That's not what I'm saying. But yeah, yeah. It's just. If you're not helping us a combat, uh, like a, a percentage a big, of the game. Yeah, yes. it's like a third of it, and I'd say. Another example be, yeah. was the uh, Kingdom Death Monster. I was going to bring oh, that up, true. actually. Yeah, that was we, we went out of our way to role play. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, we can, yeah. I love that. We can yeah. save that for the second part because just for right now, we're talking about D&D, &D, but then moving on to tabletops. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 Because I was so, going to, I think we all had the my, mindset bringing oh, it up. I was like, oh, yeah, dude, I I it, it was a fantastic game. Oh, yeah, we loved my, it. Yeah. I have, I did say I have a very minimal amount of uh, DM experience. And it was very different. It wasn't just like a one shot. I kind of want to talk about it. Sorry. No, it's all good. You guys are fucking dorks. <laughs> I really hope it just pretty cute. <laughs> okay, sorry. Yeah. Go on, go on. Uh, but it was a combat only uh, one shot where. I played, uh, it was almost like, I don't even know how to describe it in terms of something else. Like a dungeon but crawl? Like no, literally a campaign, no, like battle was, to battle to battle. That's like what a campaign is. Camp no, it was like an arena battle. tournament. Oh, almost. okay. But where you picked a team Co of Co monsters, and you played as someone outstanding, as like a controller. Them. So it's like you're playing a MOBA. Almost. Uh, yeah. did that, or an RTS. No. We did like that, that at uh, Gen Con. Yeah. You would do a pool of... Like points you get? Uh, challenge rating. So that's how... Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Challenge rating yeah. points. So yeah, mine was nothing above challenge rating a quarter, I think. It was all, oh, it was all very, very weak, little. dumb yeah. monsters, but it was fun because it's like, oh, the flying snake is here, and he's fighting a... Base merman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's some uh, monsters that are just way better though. Yeah. If yeah. you know what you're talking about. I mean, I, the I, flying I, snake was really good because I forgot that he was flying and had a flying speed of sixty. Yeah. Oh my god. So <laughs> he was like fucking taking shit out. But then there was also I don't remember what it's called, but it was like this little little mass that floated around and could take people over, could mind control them. Okay. He Dio. turned out. He turned out broken. I was gonna make a joke, but it was like my wife. I'm yeah. just oh I don't, my God. Have a wife. I don't have a wife. <laughs> I don't. It's not a joke. I don't have a wife. That's but a that joke. was really fun, <laughs> yeah. and it got me wanting to DM, but then I was too lazy. Because <laughs> like we were saying, DMs DM. have a lot of prep work. I don't and think I, I do couldn't it. think of a great starting place, and I well, the prep work I don't think would be hard for me. I just don't think I could. I think I get really upset with like people going off track. And I'd get pissed off. Yeah. See, <laughs> that again, was the that's thing. That's a whole part. You can do whatever you want. So you yeah. can't get mad about which that. Was, you have to which was my thing. Like, yeah. yeah. That's because I have the starter set for 5e mm -hmm. with uh, uh, Minds of Phandalin. Yeah. And uh, and I wanted to do that with people, but then I was thinking, like, this is all, like, set. 
how the fuck am I going to just go on the fly when they just choose to murder the guy who gave him a quest? <laughs> because the players, the players need to have a mindset that you're following a guide. Yeah, yeah that's like, the big thing. You're not too. trying to tell them like you're railroaded, but like they know they're railroaded. Yeah. But it's like, also for like new people to too. Huh? It would be for new people, so it's like. You know, I, I want to describe it as you can do anything, yeah, but then I go, I know, but nah, you, that, you tried to stab that guy and your sword broke. So, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but like, yeah, right. His abs of steel. Well, <laughs> the, the quest, quest giver just got stats off, off the roof and he can't do anything to him. Well, see, that's, that's just <laughs> being a DM is adapting. Yeah. 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 And that's what I was, I'd get nervous about. But, yeah. He has reactive stats, so I, if he yeah. sees you coming at him, he's just... <laughs> if, if you, tr- you should, you should go into uh, something like that, or even like a, literally a campaign book that a lot of players follow my my cousin he dms now and i'm like oh wow that's awesome but he likes to stick to campaign books because it's hard for him to do the prep work it's hard for him to focus on that it's hard for him to keep the focus for his players so when he literally has a book that says kind of stick to this and i'm going to try to stick to this too and we're going to get from a to b to c and then we we feel fulfilled in the end because that's a lot of things a lot of players like you guys had i've had we everyone has that plays dnd is you start a campaign and never finishes. The DM never got satisfied with his story. The players never got satisfied with their story. Yes. Yeah. And like, I that's... still want to know what happened with that goddamn staff that drained people's souls. <laughs> I'll never, never find know. out. I, I want to know, know if I can get my character back in KDM, KDM still. KDM Jesus. No. <laughs> you should not. You should not be hopeful. The spire has <laughs> meant, dude. I'm alive. Every. It's a risky cautious. journey. But yeah, it's worth we're it. gonna lose another person, and your character had low stats. We had babies, <laughs> man. Send a baby <laughs> after it. Whatever, yeah. I can't get monster, the babies for the strong ones. <laughs> so, like campaign books are fantastic for new DMs, and they're fantastic yeah. for new players because if you can't, I'd say the one you have like a rule set up, like don't stray from it too much. Yeah. Because we're following a story in a book. Yeah. So like, it's like playing Gloomhaven. You, you have your options set in front of you, and you can role play. I'm not saying you can't role play. Gloomhaven is more set as a board game. Yeah. But, or even Kingdom Death Monster. It, there's, those games are set up to be like, they're campaigns and stories, and you guys can make your own decisions. Yeah. But there's times where you have to make a decision, and that's yeah. how those campaign books should be set up. And they yeah. are set up that way. Yeah. And it's like that's a fantastic true. way. I mean, you can do years of prep work and not even get an ounce of those campaign books finished or yeah. even close to. No, exactly. Well, and in the consistency that they are. And you're saying, oh, they just killed the, the guard that was supposed to give them the quest. Give it to another guard. Yeah. Give it, give it to the, the drunk man and be like, oh, Jim Schnoob, what are you doing? He's jumping in the cave over there. And then the players may be like, okay, he mentioned the cave. We should probably own it. Exactly, we just gotta adapt. Oh no, the players get to play the game. Yeah. Yeah. If that's their concern with, oh, we wanna mess around the bar for today? Let them mess around the bar for today. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the thing, I'm not afraid of that. that. It's more of my confidence of being able to make that interesting for them. Because I would, I'd be cool. I don't care what they do, personally. I just don't think that if I was prepared this way and then they took a left turn to throw you off that I could just keep holding their attention. It's like a you problem. No, I mean, that's, what, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what I mean. I don't care. Like, I would love, because, like, when I play a game, I don't want to be railroaded, and I understand that, and I wouldn't, but I don't know. Like, I'd love to DM because I'd love to make a world you know, and have fun, but I also am terrified of improv. Being a DM <laughs> is not only, like, being able to adapt and stay in your toes, and, like, you have to be wit. Like, you have to have a lot of wit. Like, right? Just be, like, be on it. Be quippy and quick with it. But also, it's... You have to give them the false impression of freedom. Yeah. Like, you're manipulating the players the whole time. <clears throat> a lot of a lot of new DMs and a lot of players, even with their characters and their stories, oh, the DM didn't follow my backstory properly. Well, you didn't portray it properly then, or you didn't exactly. make it a point of your own to portray it properly. That's your yeah. fault, too. It's not just the DM's fault. The, the DM's, DM's got a lot going on. Well, he's yeah, trying to... Like <laughs> players, man. Yeah. yeah. And... And also, like, the DM has to be... They're not following my story. Well, that's... Yeah, we'll that's make a two-way them. street, like you said earlier, Well, you though. can't just, like, make this guy old man gray noir, you know? You can't just have this old man that that has this quest for them, and they kill him or they disregard him. You have to give that quest to another player or another uh, NPC in the game, right? Mm-hmm. You can make, like... You can, like, oh, like, oh, you guys are walking through town, and then they're, like, some player just wants a perception check. Yeah. And you're like, oh, they, I want them to get this quest line. Cool. Okay, he does a percent check. Maybe he gets, like, a low roll or even a high roll. He'd be like, oh, yeah, like, there's some guards sitting over, and you kind of see one run up quickly, like, looks flustered, and, and then he's like, starts whispering. And then now the players are intrigued to what the guards are saying, yeah. and they may just get some keywords like, north of the city. And then the player's like, well, how do you want to go to the city? city? Yeah. And, like, you have to get them interested. That's like, I know you were saying, like, a problem that you, you may think that you have yeah. would be, like, how am I going to keep their interest? Precisely like that. Like, you, you just... 
you kind of keep threading the needle. You don't have to yeah. stab him with the fucking needle. No, you're just hinting it. But you're like, yeah. you're you're it, and you yeah. can hit him in the face with it. Yeah. You'd be like, oh, you know, you have five days to do this. And the solar eclipse happens, the Fire Nation's attacking, bro. Like, <laughs> the moon's going to hit the Earth. Yeah. So Momo's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I get you want to save this man's marriage, but the volcano's <laughs> about to erupt. Yeah. <laughs> So. <laughs> I would love to be the petty DM too, who fucking killed the whole party off of oh the volcano. Oh my god! Been just there, something stupid. That. Just like, I didn't do that, all right, me. bud. Congratulations, you're married. The party did it, except the lava has reached your ankles. <laughs> <laughs> As you put the ring on, you feel your melt, your feet melt away. <laughs> That's 19 d6 of fire damage. <laughs> Next time, pay attention. Um, I resisted the fire. <laughs> This is magma. <laughs> All right, resistant to fire. Fire. It's water lava. <laughs> You're drowning. But then, um, for like kind of the closing statements to the intro, I know Josh said this is the intro. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. This, this is the intro. <laughs> <laughs> what? I thought we were just talking. Time's flying right now. It's great. But, um, closing statement to the intro, Josh brought up how he's afraid to DM. Correct. Yes. Hey, a lot of that relies on finding interest in a system like. I DM Dark Heresy D and D. You killed it. Yeah, and it, I'm a badass, dude. Like I did all this, and you can't do that. I'm, I'm, I'm not. Fucking I'm, not on me, bro. I'm not <laughs> boasting that. No, 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 no. I'm just saying that. Like I was super intrigued with Warhammer, and I love the story, so I want to do my own spin on that. And yeah, I find something that pulls you as much as you want to pull other players in. Well, no, I get that. Yeah, yeah, and uh, you shouldn't be afraid of it. I think that's something that everybody. I just think I'm just not a competent person by nature. So that doesn't help, <laughs> well, yeah. really. But no, I did. I really got into Dark Heresy. I love that a lot. Yeah, and I like being naive of it. It's fun for me to know, like, learn the world as we played. Well, that's a good or, way like, to do it too. Looking at my character through the book, I'm like, I don't even know what this stuff is, but like, I'm interested now that I'm yeah. looking into it. I was gonna say that's good. I didn't want to see. I didn't want to know too much. That's good for a character standpoint, but as a leader, the that's DM role. Yeah, exactly. You kind of have to indulge yourself. 